Good morning, Year Two. We've now reached Lesson Three of our chapter on 3D shape, Chapter 12. And today, on Wednesday, the 10th of February 2021, we need to open our textbook to be on page 89 to work through the in focus task together. And today you can see the lesson title is describing three dimensional shapes, describing 3D shapes. Let's have, let's have a little look at what Lulu has done. Lulu has folded some flat shapes into boxes. Okay, she folds some flat shapes into boxes. After folding, what shapes are the boxes? Okay, so she's got some shapes here, 3D net shapes. And we have to guess what each of these, okay, flat shapes would make when folded. Let's work through this together. The first one, okay, she's got <clears throat> six faces on her flat shape, one, two, three, four, five, six, and all of them are squares. So that means she would make a cube. Did you guess that children? 3D net shape two, there are six faces, one, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, and from that she makes a cuboid, which has how many faces are squares? Look at it, children. One, two. We know there's one here and one at the other end. So let's put two faces are squares here. How many faces are rectangles? Well, we know from previous work, but let's check, okay, on this diagram here. One, two, three, four rectangles. Some of them are dark, are shaded quite darkly, look, and some of them are shaded quite lightly. Light and dark shading. Again here, this shape has four faces. One, two, three, four. And it creates this pyramid here. What shape are all these faces? You know the shape of these, don't you, children? Look, three sides, three vertices, they're all triangles. And this last one here, how many faces are there? One, two, three, four, five faces. Are they all the same shape? Uh-uh, no, they're not. We've got one, two triangles and one, two, three rectangles to make our prism shape. Let's move on. In your guided practice, it says, if possible, name the shapes of the flat surfaces on each of the following things, objects. So we've got some 3D objects. And we have to spot the flat faces on each of them and uh, describe the flat faces. Name the shapes of the flat faces, not name the shapes. So we know that's a cone. OK, and we know it's got one flat face and that flat face, children, is a what? It's a circle. So we're naming, OK, the flat faces of each of these shapes. So let's, shall we name the shapes together and then you can work out the flat faces. We've got a cylinder here, got a prism here, a pyramid, a sphere a cube, a cuboid, okay? And all you have to do is figure out, okay, what the flat face is, if they've got any. Don't get tricked, okay, by any objects that do not have any flat faces. And then you've got to find the flat faces on these shapes here, okay? And you're just naming the flat faces. So if you were, okay, able to do what Lulu did and flatten the shapes, okay, what shape would the flat 
faces B. And then if you complete this task in less than an hour, you know to go to your workbook, okay, pages 73 to 75, so there are three pages to complete today. And really it's just uh, checking that you've understood what you've done in the in focus and guided. Name the solid shape that is formed by folding the flat shapes below. So what shape are you going to make from this flat shape? What 3D shape? Look at the shape of each face. Each face is a square, okay? And how many faces? One, two, three, four, five, six, okay? We've got one, two, three, four, five, six square faces. So we know that that will be a cube, don't we, children? We know that that will be a cube. I'm sure your writing will be neat, neater than mine. Okay, and you need to name this shape, this shape, and this shape. Okay, what solid shape could you form from those flat 3D shape nets? And then you've got some more to name Give me the number of faces, the shapes of the faces. And when it says example, it means a real life example. Okay, something that would be that shape in real life. And finally, okay, this page is very simple, isn't it? You're given an object and you have to Describe the shape of the shaded, the darker face. Okay, so the, the one that is shaded darker here, 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 and here, those are the ones that you need to write down the shape of here. So I can tell you that one, the shape of that shaded face there is a rectangle. Okay, so you'd write rectangle in that box. I think most of you will whiz through this, so I'll make sure there's a challenge activity on tapestry for any fast finishers.